I knew it, but I didn't want to say it. Hello. Welcome to my soccer universe. I'm talking, of course, about the second semifinal from the beginning. I mean, people keep asking me, who do you think will win Qatar or uh, Qatar, I should say, or the Emirates? And I said that everything, that every time Qatar is the better team, but the Emirates have been riding a wave of luck into the semifinals, uh, the likes of which I have barely seen before. To a certain degree, maybe Russia at the World Cup to the quarterfinal seemed similar, but not, you know, Russia actually deserved the first two victories and in a way even deserved to win against Spain. Because Spain didn't show anything. The Emirates, I think in no game that they played in, were the better team. And that says a lot. I mean, Bahrain, very lucky 1-1. One, one. Uh, India, very lucky to not be down. Um, you can argue, yeah, maybe it was down to India being not only unlucky, but you know, not being able to convert these chances. Um, Thailand, you get an early goal, you do nothing. Kyrgyzstan, you go to overtime, get a softish penalty. I think I even want to go as far that with VAR in the entire tournament, I'm not sure that we see the Emirates in the semifinal. And you got lucky against Australia. But again, Australia didn't convert their chances. So, yeah. Boy, this was a massacre today. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, let's go straight to it. I mean, uh, the first goal, uh, Qatar is the better team. They have not conceded a goal yet and didn't concede a goal today either. Uh, it starts out with, I mean, again, so how that's I read up on it. Uh, attack by Qatar, counter attack Emirates, goes nowhere, another counter attack by Qatar. And it's Bulem Huki who makes a shot that goes, you know, uh, it's from the corner of the box. Uh, a roller, it was barely deflected. I'm not even sure if it was deflected. And the goalkeeper, I mean, he completely misjudged the ball. It went through his hands in, in, in any way. I mean, this was amateur goalkeeping. And uh, I'm sorry to say... If I look at some of the goals at the Asian Cup, I'm looking at you, China, against Iran. I'm looking at you, Iran, yesterday against Japan, and I'm looking at you, Emirates. Uh, I'm afraid to say that the quality sometimes is not as high as we are used to from other tournaments. Yes, goalie howlers are always in there, but it seems a little bit weird at, at, at some time. This was in the 22nd minute. Absolute crazy goal. Then Ali Almois, the guy who played for Lask, uh, with look up seven games, one goal, and then he went to our corporation team, Pushing, so uh, which is where I work. Uh, yeah, makes a second one. This was a nice individual of a nice curling shot on the inside of the post, going in two nil. Uh, it was not much more. I mean, uh, the Emirates only had half chances after that. And it was actually Qatar who put the game away. Hassan uh, Al Haidos made it 3 0. And then in stoppage time, 4 0 by uh, Hamid Ismail. Honestly, um, it's, it's a massacre for the hosts. Not of the epic proportions that we saw Brazil in 2014 at the hands of Germany, but. It's brutal. If you're a host nation and you are uh, defeated by four goals, in addition by not necessarily a neighboring country, but a country that you have some history in that could have been part of your country, and then now you have some serious political trouble with. Uh, it was also interesting to see that, you know, these are the two, I mean, we know Qatar will have the World Cup. If the Emirates could be potentially a co-host if this gets expanded. I really hope not, but uh, if it does, it gets expanded. But uh, those nations don't like each other. 
I mean, Korea, Japan was already a weird. I think Qatar, the Emirates, that will be even worse. Uh, they really need to patch things up before there's any talk about that happening. So simply from that point of view, I'm actually uh, hopeful that cooler heads will prevail. But you know, money is talking. I also didn't necessarily like that the crowd's reaction. I mean, the, they got a shit storm, shit storm on Twitter um booing the Qatari national anthem and you know uh being as disrespectful to your opponent as you can be and yeah they got the bill for that um i do understand some uh hatred and rivalry but you know you're meeting on sporting grounds um uh, and i'm saying this yes uh, austria was also well known for being very unsporting for a long time i think it took them 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the opposing national anthem was booed mercilessly and I never liked it. I never understood it. You know, uh, when you're little, you don't think about it. It's a fun thing to do. It's the same thing like the monkey chants that they're doing in Italy. I mean, I heard those in, in Austria too when I went to the stadium in the 90s. Um, I just never felt compelled doing this because I found them silly. Uh, I didn't think about racism, but you know, you can see the people there standing, oh, there's something fun to do. Uh, that is completely disrespectful. They don't get that because the brain doesn't work that way. So I can understand there's some hatred between the two countries. And yeah, it was probably not the happiest thing. And by all accounts, I think it shouldn't have gone there because the Emirates should not have been there. I, I maintain the Emirates were the weakest team in Group A despite them winning the group. And this is a quite a statement to make. Now, as for Qatar, do we need to consider them the favorites to, to win the tournament now? They beat somewhat lucky South Korea. South Korea, I think, was, was over, overall the better team, but they beat them fair and square. I mean, this was the marquee matchup in the quarterfinals. Uh, they looked really good at against Saudi Arabia. Uh, they beat Iraq. They have... They got some scalps. Japan, maybe. No, nah, Japan and South Korea, they're pretty much um, on even footing. So I, it's not beyond Qatar of winning this tournament. Do it consider the favorites? Not just quite yet. But I can see it. And I couldn't see it before the tournament. So that says a lot. So uh, it'll, 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 it'll be interesting how things pan out. Uh, that final is definitely an interesting one. Um, you have two, you have a very robust Japanese team that is super efficient. You have a Qatar team that has not considered a goal in this uh, stance, a little bit for free flowing soccer. So I'm, it will be a cur it will be I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen. Um, where do my allegiances lie in that one? Uh, it's pretty easy for me, honestly. Uh, Japan. I gotta say it that way. Yes, it would be nice that an Arabian team. I, it's nothing against Qatar over, over there, although I have my personal gripes with them as well, especially for them hosting the World Cup. But um, that, you know, uh, yes, that's not the problem. I just have more sympathies towards Japan, having had a classmate for more than eight years from Japan, still a good friend of mine. So it's pretty clear that Japan is uh, the team that I'm gonna support, and I really hope that they will win this Asian Cup. But if Qatar wins, that's a huge statement. That will be a huge statement to introduce Qatar to the world stage here. And I'm curious to see what will happen. Uh, it looks to be a great final. Shame on me, I don't even know if there will be a third place matchup. Uh, but I'm pretty convinced if there is, Iran will get the third place. But I think since Carlos Geros has said already goodbye, sorry to hear that, but you know, um, he has been there, and I think the open vacancy in Colombia is something that he will look at. Well, those are my thoughts on that semi-final and a little bit on the final. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about all the, uh, uh, the, those, the game today and generally what you think about the final and the Asian Cup. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.